set for action with the Ultra Women's Championship on the line. War Beast has been dominant. Collecting championships has been their business. Business has been very good. But will that translate to the Ultra Women's Division? Victoria Vaughn, we've seen her very instrumental in various War Beast matches. Our first time to see her step into the ring in official competition. And what a way to make your singles debut for the Ultra Women's Championship. I mean, the last time we were here, we saw Victoria Vaughn pile-driven, spiked in the center of the ring when she was sticking her nose in places she shouldn't have. We didn't know if she would make it back to this show. She was injured for about 40 days after that with neck problems, neck injury. And she's here. Of course, Zeta Zhang was slated for this championship shot, formerly of NXT. Zeta tearing her MCL, ACL. Major knee shredding and injury happening in Zeta. Don Vitale looked it up, wanted to find a replacement to face Sumi Sakai. And he chose Victoria Vaughn. If you want to get your nose in the business of others, well, go ahead and step up. Try it on your own. Speaking of stepping up, that certainly describes the brand new Ultra Women's Champion, Sumi Sakai, a legendary warrior out of Japan, MMA background, and she did the unthinkable, ended the over one year reign of former champion, the undeniable Tessa Blanchard at no quarter, shocking the faithful in the Ultratorium. It's one thing winning the title, it's another defending it. Can Sakai do just that? Hear it into the void. Sumi Sakai bringing in a resume as long as one of those scrolls from the, the turn of the middle centuries. And I mean, what hasn't Sumi Sakai done? Sumi Sakai impressive not only in Japan and Mexico, but here in the United States earning that PCW Ultra shot for that title in her first match and taking it off of the undefeated Tessa Blanchard. Let's Here to, to set Dan the Master. stage, yes sir, Dan Masters, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is single bout with a 30 minute time limit it is for the Ultra Woman Championship. Your official in charge of the action is Jeremy Marcus. Introducing her star challenger, she comes to us from Los Angeles, California. What a night it is for Victoria Van, who comes in here representing her Asian American culture, proud to face one of the great stars of the continent of Asia. And will we see a clash of styles here? Will we see similarities between these two? They are both known for fierce, fearless action. Victoria Van, of course, debuting here in a singles about, but we've seen her a lot. Nice takedown in the early going there by the champion. Yeah, but the thing is, there's just, there's so much tape study that can be done on Sumi Sakai. You can watch her MMA bouts. You can watch her countless matches inside the squared circle. More of a question mark for Victoria Vaughn. So if, if Vaughn does have an advantage, it might just be that. Victoria Vaughn able to get that side headlock, and look at this. Oh, wow, takedown with the headlock as Sakai attempted to counter it. Shoulders down, but only one. And Todd, if you look at Victoria Vaughn, she's smart here. Goes for the grappling at the beginning of the match. Not trying to strike with Sakai. And yep. able to counter, look at, man, Vaughn looking good so far against the veteran. She does, going toe to toe. And, but you have to be very leery, right? You mentioned takes Sakai to the mat and grapple. But that's a very dangerous proposition as well when you think of the MMA background. Sakai, 
victorious many times over with the arm bar, so you can't leave your arm out there on the tray for Sakai, but some Lucha exploits there by Victoria Vaughn using the speed, and I believe that Vaughn will have the size and strength advantage as well, and certainly the aggressiveness when you think of her background with Warbeast. Nice snap suplex. She's got the champion trouble, center of the ring. Count it two. Wow. That suplex earned her a two count against Sakai. I don't think anybody would have thought she would have earned a two second into a pinfall attempt this early in the match. But you don't want to get too close to Sakai's strikes. Those open handed sumo style palm strikes to the face, chopping down the neck and head. And Sakai runs in, beautiful shoulder tackle. Look at Sumi Sakai. Champ showing she's got some size and strength in her own right when she gets that body going. She knows how to utilize leverage, does the champion. Taking over this matchup. You don't want to give your back up against the champ Sumi Sakai. Variation here of a camel clutch and a little bit of a cross face as well. Digging the form into the jaw, now grabbing the hair. Playing uh, by War Beast rules here a little bit is the champion. Sure. Victoria Vaughn or Van. We got to stick with one of them at some point. Let's just go with Vaughn. Victoria Vaughn, who uh, has shown that. She can hang when all violence is legal. Well, that's not the case in this match. This is for the women's championship here in PCW Ultra. Jeremy Marcus really trying to warn the uh, count of four there by Tissakai. Well, the champ has five seconds to work with there, has to break before five and repeated hair pulling, getting away with it. What do you think she's saying to her there? She's really jawing, trying to get in the head of Victoria. I think she's probably saying sayonara. She's going for the cover right here, looking to put her away. Sakai using her veteran instincts and wares right now to stay one step ahead of Victoria Vaughn. But Vaughn, we've seen her willing to take risks. Very strong, but she's got to get something going. Now the hair mayor there by Sumi Sakai. She knows every trick in the book, doesn't the champion? Yeah, just using all that weight and stomping on the chest and neck. She faints the uh, potential drop kick, and when Vaughn dropped her guard, just kicks her in the face. This is smart for Sakai. You know, she doesn't have much footage to look at. Cover. Vaughn might be out here after that kick. I mean, that was straight up the center, right through the uprights. And caught her right on the, uh, on the button. And to your point, Vaughn not moving much here. And so far, Sakai really controlling the action. A little smirk on the face of the champion. Perhaps Fisherman, Suplex Fisherman Buster coming. Too much size and strength for Victoria Vaughn. Digging down deep, mounting a comeback here. Quickens the pace. Ooh, swing and a miss. Oh, but a beautiful leg sweep, but countered. They couldn't counter that one. Nice action, nice tenacity by the challenger. Goes for the cover. That's the second time in the matchup. Earlier the snap suplex, now after the leg sweep. The, the challenger had the champ down for a long two count. And it wouldn't be the first time that a challenger making their debut would earn a championship if Victoria Vaughn were to go on and win this match. We saw it with Mil Muertes. We saw it with Rob Van Dam. We saw it with Tessa Blanchard. And for Victoria Vaughn, it's not unprecedented to walk out with this championship on the day you have your coming out party here at PCW Ultra. Shot to the brainstem. Champion went down like a fallen tree. Upset City, no, and you'll recover, or you'll recall that Sumi Sakai, the champion, had to dig down deep into her instincts to get the victory over Tessa Blanchard. Caught her with a roll-up, secured the pin. Not a dominant victory, kind of baited her in, waited her time, and, and, and was opportunistic. You know, Sumi Sakai giving up size and strength again here, but Vicious there with the headbutt, or was it desperation? I'd say desperation is a bit of an exaggeration here as Sakai comes flying in. Sakai in for the cover, over the shoulders, hooks the inside leg, but only two. The difference between Sakai and Tessa Blanchard is that Sakai is, is an older veteran, someone who has traveled the entire world. Tessa's only 24 years old. Sakai almost playing with her opponent like a cat would a piece of yarn. Although looking really serious now and starting to change and shift moods is Sakai, who knows that perhaps, perhaps Victoria Vaughn is a bit underscouted, a bit more of a challenge than she thought she would be. 
it's it's hard to fight from underneath against Sumi Sakai because she can string together the offense and she knows how to take advantage. But another big strike upstairs. Sakai ate one earlier. Now the Enziguri looks to be out here. Knee up the center. Got to take advantage. That Victoria Vaughn does. Here we go. Close call for the champion. 2.2 seconds right there on the mat. And Victoria Vaughn very, very close to becoming the PCW Ultra Women's Champion. I'm not sure Sakai planned for this. I'm not sure Sakai ever thought she would be in trouble. Oh, wow, look at this. Dragon Sleeper. Is this it, Todd? Into a DDT? Yes! Another gutsy performance for Sumi Sakai. A champion all over the globe. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.